Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. Uh, we're on a topic this week discussing the four pillars of successful tennis. And today's video is regarding depth of your shot. Okay, we did a little bit of work yesterday on consistency. So, you know, what for me becomes the second most important idea with, with the results of my shot is getting depth on my opponent's side of the court. So I'm gonna back up here for a minute, hit a couple balls, get you guys inside my head in terms of what I think about to produce some depth. One more time, Mark. Okay, so obviously first and foremost, it's height over the net. If you guys can produce, you know, a four or five foot high ball over the top of the net, that shot, especially with a little bit of spin where you're not worried about it going long, is going to most likely travel behind your opponent's service line. And that's a really important idea for you guys because generally, if your shots get behind your opponent's service line, you are keeping them back at their own baseline. And I think you'll notice that when you guys land your shots inside your opponent's service line or in the service boxes, a lot of times it becomes an approach shot for your opponent. So at that point, you will go on defense, okay? Um, the other really important thing about getting depth is that the most common miss I see around the club at the 3-0, 3-5, even 4-0 level, the most common miss is in the net. And that's because the swing breaks down, the movement wasn't good enough, a uh, little bit of nervousness. All those factors produce usually a shorter result than we're looking for. So by, by attempting to get more depth, we are taking that common miss out of play. We're playing the ball high enough that maybe once in a while I miss the ball long, but I'm, I'm attempting a fuller, longer stroke usually. I'm using my body more to swing the racket when I attempt depth, okay? So um, again, consistency for me is number one. Once you guys feel like you're producing really good movement, consistent balance, and you know solid strokes on a majority of your swings, I want you to step your game up. The second pillar of success is getting the ball deeper in the court than you have been. The last thing I'll mention about this is your opponent, when they're at the baseline, is going to have a much tougher time dealing with your shot the deeper the ball goes because it will push them back. If you've got a little bit of top spin on it, the ball jumps up. You are really enforcing um, you know, a, a position for them that's, that's more defensive than anything by, by keeping the ball deep and it's giving you guys more of a margin for error over the top of the net, okay? So go out there, make sure we are attempting to get that ball past the service line a majority of the time. Don't worry about taking it to the sidelines yet. That's gonna be our next video is placement. Just work the ball center of the court, nice and high, and, and go for extra depth, okay? So that's all I got for you guys today. Please click like below this video. And if you happen to be watching on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks and we'll see you guys soon.